So how do you get the count for the starting row? Well, you string enough beads to go around your object, and then you add or subtract enough beads to get to a number divisible by six. Now, why does it need to be a number divisible by six? Well, if you wanna do a pattern like a chevron, it repeats every six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it starts again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it just repeats that way all the way around. Now, technically, you could do a number divisible by three, but then you're limited in the patterns that you can do. These are just rows, and you can see it's repeating one, two, three, one, two, three. So, how do you get those numbers? Well, I have this handy dandy reference chart for your starting row. So for this little pill fob, I already forgot how much we counted that for. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it's about 56. So then I would come to this list. These are all numbers divisible by six. 56 is closest to 54. So that means I would have 54 all the way around um, to start my starting row I would leave on 36 take off 18 and that's the number you're using when you uh, skip a bead so this is a little bead ruler I made I just strung up beads in groups of 10 and I put little lobster tails on the end for handles. And it just makes it easy to do a count so you don't have to string up your beads every time and then do the count and then remove them. Um, so that way in this step of stringing up beads to go around the object, you actually can kind of skip that a little bit because you measure it by this and then reference this. And so you really only have to string on your amount you leave on and then you can start beating.